Take two, you guys. That was not working for me. So here we go. We're going to start with Big Al. Are you ready? Big Al. In the wide blue sea, there was a very friendly fish named Big Al. You could not find a nicer fish. But Big Al was also very, very scary. Oh, you guys, he's a sweet fish. He really is, he just looks scary. Other fish seemed to have at least one friend. Some had many, but Big Al had none. He did not really blame the other fish. How could he expect little fish to trust a great big fish with eyes and skin and teeth like his? So Big Al was lonely and he cried big salty tears into the big salty sea. I feel so sorry for him. But Big Al really wanted friends, so he worked at it. First, he tried wrapping himself up with seaweed. He thought it was a great disguise, but no one else did. Who wants to stop and talk to a floating plant that has big, sharp teeth? Then he thought that if he puffed himself up round Oh, like huge, look at that. If he puffed himself up, round, 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 the other fish would laugh and see how clever and silly he could be. All they saw was how big he could be and they steered clear. They were probably pretty scared. If you're a tiny fish like that. Very early one morning, Big Al went down to the bottom and flopped and wiggled himself into the sand until he was almost covered. He looked much smaller when other fish came near. Big Al talked and joked with them and he had a delightful time. But then one scratchy little grain of sand got stuck in his gills and he, and he, he, and he, ah, He sneezed. And when the clouds of sand cleared away, all the other fish were gone. Big Al even changed his color one day so he could look like he belonged to a school of tiny fish passing by. He bubbled along with them for a while, laughing and feeling like he was just one of the crowd. But he was so big and clumsy that when all the tiny fish darted to the left and then quickly back to the right, Big Owl just plowed straight ahead. He went bumping and thumping right into the little fish. And before he could even say, oh, excuse me, they were gone and he was all alone again. Sadder than ever. Oh, this poor fish. Just when Big Owl was starting to be sure that he would never have a single friend, something happened. He was floating along sadly watching some of the smaller fish and was wishing they would come closer. As he watched, a net dropped down silently from above and in an instant, they were caught. Big Al forgot all about being lonely and he forgot all about being sad. His eyes bulged out bigger and rounder than ever and with a mighty flip of his tail, he opened his mouth and charged straight at the net. The net was strong, but Al was stronger. He ripped right through it, and all the little fish rushed out through the hole. <clears throat> but when Big Al turned, tried to turn around and go out of the hole, you guys, he got tangled up in the net. He was stuck. The net went higher and higher towards the bright surface of the sea and the little fish watched Big Al as he disappeared above them. And when the little fish were able to speak again, all they talked about was how huge, how the huge, wonderful fish that had saved them was trapped. How great to be free, but what a shame that that big fellow had been captured. They're starting to think, Hmm, well, he 
saved us. I wonder if there's something we can do. <clears throat> Just then, there was a tremendous crashing splash above them, and the small fish dashed away. Was it the net again? Not at all. It was Big Al. Those fishermen took one look at him, and they threw him right back in the ocean. They didn't want Big Al. That's not the kind of fish they were fishing for. And now there is one huge, puffy, scary, fierce-looking fish in the sea who has more friends than anyone else. You guys, why do you think those little fish like him now? Yeah, he was really thinking about them and trying to help them out. You know who that big fish is? Well, it's Big Al. There he is, swimming with his new friends. You see how it gets lighter up at the top of the ocean where the sun can shine through? Then the darker gets a lot darker as you go deeper. I hope you like that story. I hope you had fun last weekend for Memorial Day. And let's see, tomorrow is our Zoom meeting. I wonder if you know what to bring. Please bring something that goes in the, either the abyss or the trench. Whoo, it's going to be some spooky creatures. So the abyss or the trench tomorrow for Zoom. I can't wait to see you. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.